Yeah. Well, mostly you could probably tell where I am from them uh, cliffs over there. But for those that don't know, I am at Shakespeare Beach in Dover. It's my first time here. I've been wanting to come here for a while now, but yeah, I've seen it. It's been uh, some hound pups getting caught here, so and some skate. I don't know about place or anything, but I'm here. It's, uh, I'm gonna fish low down, then high up through the night, and then probably low up in the morning so yeah I'll just get her set up and I'll bring you back and show you my baits and rigs Let's go for the baits quick. A bit different to the last video, to be fair. Uh, some very manky bluey. I've brought that for a good reason. I'll tell you that in a minute. Uh, squids. Some more manky bluey. Some, uh, some herring. A couple of nice mackerel. And there's some um, sand eel in there as well. So the reason why I've brought the really really manky blue here so that's what I've got and as most of you all know that there's yeah, there's not really going to be any blue this year so I'll put the next best thing uh, just pick that up as well so another mackerel there but my favourite bait is finally back the peter crab and look at the size of them and I just drive up from Essex to Ramsgate on my way up to here to grab these I um, can't remember the name, I'll mention his name in my next video but I know he's he's got a website called uh, Peter's Dealers or something like that but yeah, lovely bloke and uh, yeah, you can't really ask much better than these and look at the size of them and this is my first Peter's of the year hopefully they might get me a couple of hound pups we'll see but I'll bring you back in a minute and uh, show you how to peel one and put one on the hook uh, I just quickly quick want to thank everyone for uh, who has watched my videos. No. So it would be nice if uh, some people could uh, maybe subscribe. It'd help me out a lot. Maybe like the videos. Fair enough. If you don't like the videos, but you would be helping me out big if you uh, did subscribe. Maybe a bit of self confidence as well. But I am really enjoying filming, so I'm not going to stop. Regardless, I'm still going to be pestering everyone with my videos. So obviously, I have done. I done one at Herne Bay about two weeks ago now, last time I fished, everything's went wrong. About an hour before I left, I was washing up, plate snapped in half, slid the whole way down the length of my farm, gashed me open. So I had to take my brother with me to Herne Bay so we could make my baits, but got there and yeah, everything's went bad. I did get one clip there, which I will show you in a minute. Mine, a tiny bit of language in it, but yeah, I got quite annoyed. I don't know what, what why this happened, but yeah, you can't really say. But yeah, just watch this, see what you think. Hello, I'm at Earn Bay. Look at this, they are everywhere. Dead rays are literally everywhere. Another one. People say, oh, they're just being washed up. I don't know, but there's ones over here that have got their tails bloody cut off. They are absolutely everywhere. Look here. Tail and guts, obviously, yeah, fair enough if you're going to eat the fish. But, is the rest of the fish over here? Well, that's a different one that was over here. They are literally everywhere else. I can't say why there's another one. Now, if this is just people just disrespecting them, then well, it's fucking bang out of water. But, see, I've just scared a load of Asians off that were sieving the sand for living crabs and cockles and whatever, you are, so they ran off pretty quick. Yeah, bang out of water. 
Right, well, target achieved, and then my first move round of the year. Tiny, but yeah, perfect still. Absolutely beautiful, I don't care how big they are. I've been waiting since last September. Get to these again. I actually thought it was a big dog because it was actually giving a brilliant little scrap. Obviously these do scrap good anyway. But yeah. Well chuffed for that. See if we get any big ones. <coughs> right, I'll just show you those that don't know. That's Peter Peter. Right. Start off to take off the legs. Claws and use them later. This is a worm bait, so bunch all onto the hook. I wouldn't pee them until you actually want to use them though, because you'll pee them, go to get them, and they'll just be dried out. So that's the way I do it. You've got this little V, obviously, how you tell if they're male or female, just take that off first. So if it's popped and it's ready, it will literally that will come off like that. There's a whole soft crab. What I do, get it obviously where the V is, just cut it up to so you just set it under the head, butterfly it. A sausage. You can thread it up onto the hook, which some people do, and then elasticate it after like that. Personally, I prefer to uh, just do it like this. Don't have to be all dead straight in that, you can straighten it up once the hook's on there. So, you don't want too much juice coming out because the crab have got a very potent juice, and you want that. Deep that is the water, but roughly that is what you want. Perfect bait for hounds. So I'm not expecting big hounds. The ages probably ain't here yet. I know they're getting them out of the boats, but yeah, I think best might be able to pull out of here is probably a pup, a couple of pounds. <coughs> Yeah, and then the hook. I just do it just like I would a ray bait. Like that. Quick whip in. I wouldn't usually use a panel when I'm at, when I'm actual pound fishing. I usually have a, just a single pre-dropper, with preferably a 4 chino on it, cox and roll. But I'd probably say there's probably more chance of a, of a raid than a hound here. So yeah. hopefully I can bring you back with fish. All right. Second hound, it's even smaller than the first one. This is literally perfection in miniature. Look at that, beautiful. And both on Peter, both on the Pretty Penny Rigs. It's about an hour left till high water, so I've had the 14 dogs as well, which is a, yeah, starting to get my nerves, but. Slowly fighting for them. I just want to rain out. So. Yeah, see if there's any hopes for some bigger ones. Well, that is me done. It's, uh, 
I ended up with uh, 20 odd dogs and then them two uh, hound pups but them two pups made it worthwhile so yeah I was going to fish the, the flood of the low but it started hammering it down so I don't know and then it started getting cold so I thought I'd go on so I hope you enjoyed it if you did uh, hit a like and subscribe subscribe button please and I'll uh, see you soon